What's going on everybody? This is Cam Hilliard from Miller's RV. Christmas came early this year. I'm standing in front of the all new Winnebago Echo. So before we get started, go ahead, subscribe to our channel, turn on your post notifications and like this video so we know how we did. Also leave us some comments if, if you have any other questions about the Echo or any other products or just any RV questions in general, we'd love to answer. This Echo is different than any RV you've ever seen. I imagine most of you have not even seen one of these on the lot. This is really something that is made for someone who wants to get off the beaten path. Winnebago designed this for people who want to camp off the grid for a week at a time. So you've got the, the all-wheel drive Ford Transit chassis and a bunch of other neat features that separate this from anything else that you've ever seen before. All right, so let's go take a look at a couple of things outside of this unit that separate it from everything else. All right, so you can see behind me that we've got an electric awning that I'm standing underneath. We've got the neat LED lights underneath. Also, Winnebago puts on this, they have a wind sensor on this awning. So if you have this out on a day where in Louisiana it's really sunny, then all of a sudden a bunch of wind and rain comes in, it's going to pull it in for you so you don't have to worry about ripping your awning off. Also, as we move back around here, you're going to notice when you open this first compartment door, it's unbelievably heavy. So all the storage compartments in this Echo are all heated and insulated three times as much as any other class seal on the market. So we have this actually just as a storage compartment. There's also an option where you could add an outdoor kitchen here if you wanted to. So we've got the heated basement there. Also a really neat feature that I like, especially if you want to get off the grid, are removable propane tanks. So sometimes it can be hard depending on where you are, especially if you're somewhere more rural. It's hard to get you know people who just fill the propane tanks but you can almost always find somewhere that can swap it or if for some reason you don't want to have to drive this to you know the hardware store pull your tanks out go swap the tanks it's that easy so now this is probably my favorite part on the exterior of this echo so massive storage compartment here we've got the mole control mole bars here so you can hook bikes to it put really whatever you want it's made so you can do anything with it. you can put whatever gear you want you can put bikes inside of here they've, they've got clamps so you can make sure to secure your bikes remove the front tire slide your mountain bike in there again this is heated so you can keep you know if you're on a long long extended say you can keep food down here if you have a nice bike you can keep your bike in there anything that you don't want out in the elements it's not only going to be safe from the the wind and the rain and the sun it's going to be heated so if you're below freezing you're going to be fine. Also a very neat thing is all the plumbing that's inside this Winnebago Echo is all tucked up inside. There's nothing outside. So if you're running your heater while you're using this, you don't have to worry about any lines freezing or anything like that. So now I'm standing in front of the rear of this Echo. You can see we have a third access door to the pass-through storage. Again, this thing is heated. It's huge. You've got two 110 receptacles and you have a 12 volt receptacle on either side as well. So you can put a mini fridge down here. You can put, you know, let's say even if you have like an electric bike you can put an electric bike back here put a charger for it then you also have your receiver here this transit chassis gives you the capability to 5,000 pounds that's massive on a, on a class c this size just extremely impressive but odds are you're really not going to have to tow anything like a lot of people like to tow jeeps behind their rvs because they, they want you know the comfortability the the coolness of a jeep jeeps are sweet i have a jeep but with this it's small enough we can drive through the city and with the all-wheel drive capabilities you're not really going to need a secondary vehicle but for some reason you have to if you know if your friend need, needs to be get you to pull him out and is you know wimpy forerunner then you can yank him out with this thing no problem so if you come through here you can see the vent for the furnace like i touched on all of these compartments are heated it's incredible very 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 few rvs have heated basements this separates it uh, already separates it from 99.5 percent of the rest of the rv market so before we jump over to our features on our driver's side i want to point out that we do have a full hd backup camera that's going to that's going to be displayed on your eight and a half inch screen up front also your pre-wire for voyager blind spot assist cameras here so let's check out the driver's side we can show you the other door to the pasture storage and also the utilities compartment as well so from the driver's side, you can see the roof rack on top. That houses your solar panels. Also, your air condition Coleman Mach 10 is up there as well. But the roof rack gives you capabilities to put smaller things up there. Just extra storage. Again, you've got the stuff inside that's heated, but also you can add stuff over top. So moving back towards this way, 
This is the tertiary door for the pass-through storage. Again, more moly panels here so you can put whatever type of accessories you'd like. Limitless capabilities. Now this door opens up to our utility panel. So you'll notice our, our gray tank dump is above the bottom of the coach. Everything is inside. Like I mentioned, none of your sewage, none of your plumbing, sewage lines or anything like that is going to be outside of the RV. It's in another heated compartment. You've got options to use, you know, city water. You can use your fresh water tank. Also, gives us the capability, and Winnebago has been doing this on a lot of their their off-road, you know, Spectre RVs that they have. You know, the Solus, uh, the Revel has the same capability, where you can actually turn on your water pump and pump water from like a five, five gallon tank. Just again, if you're you know out out boondocking, you run out of water, bring that extra tank with you. It can fill up your tank easily. So this Echo has aluminum wheels. They're powder coated to match all your black trim on it. So it's a very clean, nice finish. Also, you have your tire pressure monitoring system. So you can monitor all six tires from the dash. Here we've got our five gallon cassette black tank. Really easy to dump in and out. You don't have to worry about finding a dump station. Like your gray water, you know, you, you can dump when you're out on a trail somewhere just because it's basically just, you know, shower water, dirty hand water. Your black tank, that's a little bit harder to do if you have a full size black tank. With this, uh, gray, with this black cassette, you don't have to worry about that. So on this option, we actually have a storage compartment here. On the base option, this actually comes with the new Onan Quiet Generator, 3.2 kilowatt. So on ours, we deleted the generator. Instead, we added a second 320 amp lithium battery. So now we have two lithium batteries on this. There are going to be plenty of time to run your AC, run your lights, TV receptacles, everything that you want is going to be done off of those lithium batteries. And you have a second alternator under the hood that's going to charge those as you're going down the road. So anyone who's watched an Echo video before is probably wondering why I skipped over this option. Anyone who has not seen this Echo before, this is one of the coolest features on this. I'm sure you're wondering, what's that, what's that black thing he walked right under? This is called a bat wing awning. So it's an awning that extends over, over to the back corner and around the back of the RV. So you have two awnings on this. This is a fantastic option that Winnebago has offered. So I'll show you what it looks like. Not only is it a cool name, it looks sweet. So you're probably surprised with how much area you get, of covered area you get from this bat wing awning. This is unbelievable. It was so easy. Literally just push it. I, there was no weight. I didn't have to pick anything up. And then it just slides right in place. Your leg slides out here for extra stability. This is awesome. I'm, I'm blown away, Winnebago. This is top notch. Let's go take a look inside so I can show you what I really like about the interior of this Echo. So before we go inside this Echo, I'm going to touch on the last of my favorite features of the outside, but not even close to the last of the features because the features on this thing I, I couldn't I couldn't fill in a in a 15 minute video. I mean, it could take me hours on hours. So that feature is this metal screen door. So the screen door itself is metal. The mesh here it's probably hard to tell. But if you see this thing in person, touch it, it's metal mesh. So bugs aren't going to get through this. You can have a dog on the inside. Like some people who have small dogs don't have to worry about this, but you have, you know, anything more than a 15 pound dog, they can probably poke through the mesh, the mesh uh, wiring that's on a, a normal screen door. Also from the outside, you're not going to have people break in. So you can slide this closed. You can actually lock this screen door true locking mechanism so you can lock the screen door let's say you know if you happen to stay at a campground you just want to you know walk down to you know the the lake or something like that where you're not going to be that far and you want to leave the door open because it's a nice day you can you want to keep your stuff safe just lock that and you're good to go let's go take a check let's go take a look at the inside of this echo so now that we're in the inside of this echo i'm wild i'm sure you are too they, they managed to give you rugged exterior Interior maintains that, that ruggedness, but also it's quite pleasant inside. It's really comfortable, yet rugged. Also, they add a lot of nice, really, you know, speaking of comfort, they add a lot, not a lot of nice comfort features, starting with the new Winnebago bedding system. If you've looked at any of the other 2022 Winnebago products, you probably noticed, I know the Travato has, has uh, the same system as this. It's the new Wind Sleep system. So it's a thicker mattress. There's twice the padding of the mattress that they used to use. Also, they use the Froley springs on the bottom. So these are European style springs where a lot of other manufacturers, you're gonna, you know, their mattress goes straight on a piece of plywood. 
This actually has a spring that adjusts to different parts of your body. It's, it's a four point spring. You've got probably 300 of them below here and it adjusts to different parts of your body. So it works for different types of sleeper. It works for different body weights, different heights, all that. It, it's very um, adaptive sleep system. So you're really, really comfortable even when you're in the most re remote parts of the country and of the world. Also you'll notice we can do the option of a twin bed on either side back here or we can use this middle piece, flip it over and turn this into a king bed. So you get a lot of capabilities there. Also the storage is unrivaled on this thing. You can pick up either side of the bed, get the storage here. You have hanging items there. Also you have your sheet boosters there on the other side. More storage over here as well. So moving back towards the front, let's take a look at this bathroom. So one of the one of the biggest complaints that I get from people who have the B vans or even you know these smaller you know B plus units or, or small C's, they don't like wet baths. They don't like these these tiny baths where you have to sit on the toilet to take a shower. Well, Winnebago did. So in this, they give you the option. Of course, you've got your toilet. Your toilet will swivel for you know if you have someone who's taller or or a kid maybe or even just to get out of the way. And the coolest thing. One of the coolest bathroom features that I've ever seen. So you grab, you have this little wall here. It just looks like a nice wall. Grab your flying W, pull it over. Now it's a shower. How awesome is that? So now it's a shower. You're not sitting on the toilet. You're taking a real stand-up shower and it just drains into the corner. Then whenever you're done, boom, hidden in plain sight. So moving back towards the front, We've got our microwave here, so convection microwave. Also, we have a two burner stove here, so that you've got your burners. Also, you can fold it over like most of these Suburbans and use this as a cutting board, just extra table space. You've got plenty of drawer space here. Also up top, and you'll notice this on all of the cabinets up top. So they have a positive latch for your magnet. So boom, that stays up there. I don't have to worry about holding it up. Also, I don't have to worry about an arm that, that's keeping tension on this to keep the cabinet from falling down. So I have more storage space up here. Nothing's taking away from that. And it's secure. You'll feel when this thing closes, this is made to go off the road. This is not gonna rattle around and fall apart the first time you take it you know, off the pavement. This is built to last. It's Winnebago quality. It's Tried, it's proven, it's built to last. So our two bucket seats here, we have three point seat belts that's gonna make sure you, you know your kids, your loved ones are safe back here. Also, another big time storage compartment here, we've got, or another big time cabinet rather. So up in this, you actually have a roof access point. So if you wanted to add you know, a cellular booster or Wi-Fi range extender, you have that here. So it makes it a little bit easier on the shop who's gonna install it for you. So now at the front of this Echo, you can see behind me, I'm standing in front of what one of you calls the entertainment option. So for the entertainment package, they will add a TV, also a JBL soundbar. I love JBL products. I have a JBL soundbar at my house, also a portable speaker that I bring with me almost everywhere. Fantastic sound quality. It works with Bluetooth, auxiliary, and also it's already wired into your TV. So you've already got great speakers with this Ford Transit chassis, but if for some reason, you know, you want even more bass, take on this JBL soundbar. So to my left, we have the Lagoon table. This is a feature that I'm really glad that Winnebago has adopted on a lot of their products. So they use this on the View, uh, they use it on the Travato as well. A number, I believe it's on the Revel, but they use it really across the, the board. They've been putting in these Lagoon tables. They're awesome. So they don't take up a lot of space. I can com collapse this and you know put it behind these two bucket seats. But while it's up, it's movable, I, I can make it usable so I can you know, use it as a table here. It will lower, it will raise. But the way that I have it set up and the way that I think is, is really, really useful is having it like this, added counter space. So, you know, a small RV, you're, you're limited to w what you have to prepare food, also, you know, uses workspaces. This gives you the capability to add two and a half feet of counter space. Fantastic there. Also, you've got another table here. So you'll see I'm standing in what is really open space now, so it's plenty roomy. But then if I want to use this as a table or even you know, a remote workstation, just grab here, fold up when we're locked in.
one last thing that I did want to point out as well is the dual pane windows. So all the windows that are in this uh, in this Echo are dual pane. They have built-in shades, so they have a solar shade. They have a solar shade as well as a night shade. It's all built in. Also, two windows up here will open, and the windows in the rear will open as well. So if it, you know you're in the mountains somewhere and it's beautiful, and it's not all hot and muggy like it is in Louisiana in December right now, you can open these up and get a nice breeze. So look, guys, I'm glad you stopped by and checked out this Echo. We are really, really excited to be able to carry this. I really hope that this can open up the market for you know even other manufacturers to explore this segment of off the grid campers. Um, we you know we see you guys out there. We we know that you know you want you want something new. You want something capable. The Echo is the perfect product for that. So we appreciate you guys stopping by. Again, this is Cam with Miller's RV, and as always, enjoy the journey. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. We hope it was both informative and entertaining. Please subscribe, click the link, notification button, comment below, click one of these other links and watch one of the other videos. We appreciate you. Enjoy the journey.